Good morning. It's Saturday, May 9th. Welcome to our meditation in the meadow. I want to dedicate today in memory of my mom, Elizabeth Wheeler. She died this past January. She was a big part of my life as a mother. Uh, she was a minister's wife. She taught Sunday school. Um, she raised five kids. And um, she was a strong woman. A big influence on my life and I know on my siblings' lives. She died a great grandmother to Tegan May. She was able to see Tegan before she died. And to my sister Beth, uh, who was her caregiver up until the end, and who herself became a grandmother. I also want to offer this in honor of all the women who have influenced us in our lives as strong women, mothers, grandmothers, aunts, teachers, Sunday school teachers, people who have shown us the love and light. So as we begin today, I'd, I'd like to ask you, who have been the women in your lives who have influenced you the most? Who are the women in your lives who have influenced you the most? Would love to have you share their names and something about who they were and how they influenced you. I offer this scripture this morning. I'm grateful to God whom I worship with a clear conscience as my ancestors did. When I remember you constantly in my prayers night and day, recalling your tears, I long to see you so that I may be filled with joy. I am reminded of your sincere faith, a faith that lived first in your grandmother Lois and your mother Eunice, and now I am sure lives in you. Lives in you before I think of all those women who've helped to raise me over the years as Sunday school teachers, as teachers from elementary school all the way up through high school and college and seminary, women who have helped to shape my ministry, who've helped me to become the person I am today, and I am grateful and thankful for them. Let us take a moment then to remember those women who have influenced our lives in a moment of silence. And again, if you feel up to it, I would love to hear you share their names with us and something of how they help to shape and influence your life. Let us pray in a moment of silence. I offer this prayer. Mother in God, you created us to reflect your sacred image. For all the women we have known who have raised us, nurtured us, taught us, loved us, and showed us your love through their lives, we give you thanks and praise this day. So hear our prayer. All-encompassing God, we pray for those who feel excluded when we emphasize one kind of family as normal. God who embraces us all, we pray for those who cannot be raised by their parents for a short time or permanently. 
saving God. We pray for parents who struggle to raise their children in oppressive circumstances. And loving God, we pray for parents who have placed their child in the care of another family. God, who grieves with us, we pray for parents who mourn the death of a child and cling to that child's memory in their heart. Inclusive God, we pray for those who choose to be family to those isolated by culture or language or distance. Ageless God, we pray that as a community, we accept people of varying life stages and responsibilities and relationships. God of justice and hope, we pray for those whose children are killed and, took and look to a time when children can live safely in their communities and go for a run in their neighborhoods without being gunned down or lost to gun violence. Faithful God, we pray for those who teach us faith by their lives. May we remember that we also teach about you in the way we live. Companion God, we pray for those who wait for a phone call or a visit, cut off from family and friends by distance and disagreement, and now even a virus. Nurturing God, we give thanks for those who enrich our lives by their presence, who teach us about your abundant love, and who encourage us to journey in faith. For all the women who have nurtured us, loved us, graced us with their presence, and blessed us in our lives, we give thanks to God, the mothering God of us all. Amen. I know many of you, like me, have lost in recent months and over the past year a mom, it's my first year without either of my parents and my mom. And I give thanks this day again for Elizabeth Wheeler, for all the love and care that she offered even through her own struggles in life. She was a blessing to us and we miss her. So may the mother and God be with you this day. May the mother and God watch over you and care for you. And may the love that has been shared with the one who mothers us as a heavenly or as a parent grace your life this day, offering you shelter, nurture, and peace. Amen. Have a wonderful Saturday. I'm going to take tomorrow off. I feel like it's probably a good thing for me to take a break. I'd encourage my other colleagues to also do something similar. I'll be back uh, next week on Monday, so have a blessed weekend and uh, a wonderful Mother's Day. Amen.